Andia. Adrian. Cool video. You liked it, huh? Uh -huh. Good. Well, hey, I'm Andia, your resident fitness activist. And I'm Adrian. I'm a physical therapist. And tonight we're here at Haices do Brazil in Park Slope. You ready to check out the workout? Let's do it. All right. <laughs> Hello Brooklyn, welcome to another episode of Check Out the Workout. Tonight we're here with Professor Kuru of Raices do Brazil. What is capoeira? So capoeira is a Brazilian martial arts invented by African slaves in Brazil a long, long time ago. So capoeira is uh, one martial art that involves so many elements, the music, the instruments, and the dance, fight. So tell us about how did you get involved in capoeira? So I got involved with capoeira when I was uh, 11 years old. When I start follow my friends, they start training capoeira and say, "Oh, let's go, let's check it out this class here." And then I like, and then and then start be like follow my my life and be part of my life. And, uh, because capoeira is like something else, it's more than just take one class and leave. And the community we have and the things we do outside class, we did like a lifestyle, like a family. Awesome. Great. We're excited. Let's check out the workout. Right. Go one pass, you're gonna kick me a luz de frente, one side, other side, other pass is skip, okay? And then other pass do the same thing. So just watch, oh. you're gonna kick out, in. Good. Don't cross, you come back here, okay? And then other leg. Good. And then my turn. Skip. Good. Other side. Good. After that, how? Carpool. Okay? I think what was really important about this workout is it was not just about 
the movement. It was like the mental muscle, the physical muscle, but it was like the musical, spiritual muscle as well, and kind of being in tune with other people, and the beat, the beat muscle. So I had trouble at first because I was trying to be too technical, and when I finally started to kind of settle and be more fluid, things started to flow and the movements became part of the whole that part of the group. One of the things that they did also was the music, the, the chanting and the song. So, you know, a lot of times we forget about the diaphragm, which is a very important core stabilizer. And that's something that they did, you know, here, is that they worked the diaphragm, which is awesome, yeah. How would you uh, offer this workout to someone who is having issues with uh, mobility? Would this be something they can do? I think one of the important things during the hamstring stretches, right, there's a lot of high kicks. Oh, that's right. one thing that's been <laughs> That killed me. So for example, if you don't have much mobility, which I, I learned myself, like when you're doing these kicks, I would say that that's about the limit that I have. Uh -huh. But what, what will happen is that if you're tight, your back is going to compensate and kind of kick under. So that might... Um, cause some problems down the road if you don't have that much mobility. So that's something that you might have to work on at home before you take this class or even during the class paying attention that um, sometimes I looked around they were doing the shoulder stretch right when we're against the wall and some people were turned like this. Yeah, they square, standing. square. Some were curling their backs underneath them. So that's something to pay attention to that your hamstring kind of moves in this straight direction mm -hmm. and if you don't have that flexibility your back is going to kind of contort or your other hip contorts right. to, to compensate for it. Well, not only that, I mean, in Capoeira, it's a gamesmanship, so you're playing against someone else. So if you're not square to them, you're not going to be able to direct traffic and direct a move at them as, uh, I guess, effectively. So you really want to be square to your target, your opponent. I think really what folks who are beginners could do to get ready for Capoeira is to watch it. I mean, there's yeah. plenty of videos online, there's YouTube videos, there's documentaries, is to watch the fluidity, understand the rhythm, because the rhythm said the same, was it that, 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 and then they can figure out how their body can work in that space and work within that rhythm. And I think understanding the rhythm, that was half my battle, because I'm thinking, am I gonna get my tart car taken away? Because <laughs> I don't have rhythm? How was your back? My back's <laughs> fine, my back's fine. Uh, hamstrings were super tight, yeah. so I think if I was to take a cab class again, I really focus on the dynamic stretching prior to class, really opening up my hips, uh, hip flexors. If anyone has any groin issues, really attending to that. So maybe some stretches where they're down here like this and opening up this kind of thing. Hamstring stretches, uh, those really, really help because especially when you're doing the kicks, uh, when you're going side and opening up, that would have really helped me a lot. And so I think hamstring, groin, hip flexors, glutes would all help. And just being ready and open. And definitely prepare yourself before you take the class. And you want to make sure that you have enough flexibility. And if you don't, just don't push it. You know, right. Don't show off. There's no need to. Right. It's for everyone, really. I mean, yeah. you saw some folks who were just beginning. We were obviously just beginning. Um, but there is not, it's not just about the movement. There was music involved. And music is a very important part of, of Capoeira. So I think folks who may be intimidated know that you can start on that, that musical line. You can start, you can do the moves. Um, one of the girls that I was playing with, she couldn't do a cartwheel two years ago. Now she's doing cartwheels. So yeah. it is a progression. It's not something you can come in here and be a hero or a heroine. But once you really feel Capoeira in your bones and it's a lifestyle and it's kind of like a family and you can play, that's what it is, they play Capoeira, they don't compete against each other, they play. You really kind of feel like a spiritual lift as, long, as well as a physical lift. I was sweating from my face, <laughs> profusely swimming pools from my face. Yeah. So I definitely felt my heart rate racing. Uh, it felt like kind of high intensity interval training. So it was great. I liked it. You ready to check out the next workout? I'm ready. Let's do it, brother. Let's do it. <laughs>